Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today I've got some nice crinkly bubble wrap, and inside, what do we have? A big pile of 15 millimeter goodness coming to us from Splintered Light. So, Splintered Light recently had a Kickstarter for an army of beastmen in 15 millimeter. It was their Warriors of the Black Root Forest, and that is what this bag is right here with its $30 price tag on it. So, what does $30 get you in terms of 15 millimeter beastmen? Well, watch on and find out. That's that's what it gets you. Okay, lots of shavings here. So. Start with the big, flashy, impressive stuff. There is this swanky looking Minotaur here. And he's almost big enough that you could probably get away with using him as an actual beast man in 28 millimeter. But yeah, he's made for 15. And grabbing one of the little, oh, this is like one of the forest spirits that was actually included. If we can get them in focus today, that helps. Like a little tree man guy. As you can see, there's a bit of a size discrepancy. Let's grab one of the actual beastmen so you get a better idea. One of the things I really liked about this set was that it wasn't just the usual goats. We had all kinds of different animals on display here. And while there are a fair number of goats, I mean goats being the usual standard beast man, there were quite a few other dog-like canine style models along with some bird-headed guys tree man creature i would say these were all sculpted by ben sains if i'm saying his name right hopefully i am and i gotta give him credit because even at the scale it is quite obvious the musculature of the models they're quite easy to pick out the appearance of that's a issue i sometimes have with 15 millimeter models just trying to figure out what exactly i'm looking at you can see here here's one of our bird headed models with a pole arm so you can see there's been a fair mixture of both ranged models as well as close combat more archers archers all seem to be goats let's see Raiders. I guess most of them are goats. Still goats. There we go. Here's one of our werewolves. The werewolves look a little bit larger than the typical beastman. Big, strong, and powerful, obviously. A more armored version. I'm assuming he's one of the command models, one of the leaders. We have some more of the raiders with the torches, more archers. Let's see if there's some more of the oh, warthog model. There we go. Like I said, there are a few other models in here. One of our hunting werewolf men. The bears. There's bear men. Something we don't see enough. I do have a bear man from Battle of Valor. I'll have to grab him later and show him off, but... Uh, again, appropriately scaled as I drop him. I like that one. Nice looking bear model. Appropriate wooden armor. There's the one we dropped. Oh, we got two of them. Cool. Alright. So, I mean, if you're going to do any kind of like a Beastman, you got yourself a whole Beastman Frostgrave Warband if you want to go 15 millimeter for 30 bucks and you got everything you need. Or any of the other skirmish games, Dragon Rampant comes to mind. Splinter Light's own game. Another one of the wood elements, elementals, nature spirits. One of the little guys. Our standard. Tree spirit, more archers, another little mini tree spirit, more archers, another warthog. Got a lot of these little dudes. Not sure which side is which. It's kind of fun though. I'm not sure what kind of. Okay, warthog again. So, yeah, nice little mixture of models. But wait, there's more because what kind of a campaign would it be? You can see here it's. 
Good amount of models laying around if I can get them in focus better. Okay. But where would we be if we didn't have stretch goals, right? Let me find them because I got a couple other things here. Uh, it's this bag with the SG that is also quite full. Let's see what's in there. So our first one is this like demonic tree stump. We do not want to go on focus today, it seems. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Better. As you can see, as it's wailing here. So I don't know if it's supposed to be more of a terrain piece or if he's supposed to be a movable unit. You got me. I can't get anything else out of the bag. All right, we're going to perform surgery and just tear it to pieces. Oh, come on. I want to break things. We have to lead all those nature spirits. We've got a little druid dude. And like I said, if you want to go do a whole elemental nature frostgrave warband, I don't know why there's walking trees in the frozen tundra of the city, but you know, whatever. I believe this was a bear champion or shaman or something like that. He's a lot more armored up. Big model. It's funny how zoomed in this is and how tiny they still look. As you can see, he's 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 supposed to be a pretty good sized model. Alright, what else we got? Maybe this is our, our bear. I believe a bear mage of some sort. Druid bear. He's big, looks pretty capable. Not as big as the other one, but uh, I'm not sure what you are. A druid of some sort, it looks like. Got a beard and a nose here. Barefoot, maybe a necromancer. I don't know. Put you with your buddies over there. I want to say that this out of focus gentleman here is a rat warlord with his cowl over his head. And again, you know, the, the nice thing about a lot of these 15 millimeter models is you can get a lot of usage out of them. You can use them for all sorts of things. Let him hang out with the werewolf here. Got to get more zoomed. Somewhat. All right. Oh, speaking of necromancers, here is our actual necromancer. And I believe he's holding a tiny little skull in his hand. Maybe he's a lich. I don't know, but our nature friend is not having any of it. Alright, here we have a another beast man with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. He might be some sort of a champion. And finally, another werewolf and another kingly-looking leader guy. So you got all kinds of figures, and there was one more, and I want to say this was a bonus model if you were an early backer, and that is this big tree lord guy. He does have a head, that's what that hole is for there. It's like literally like an uprooted tree. I like the look of him. He's he's not a nice looking tree. I'd taken my daughter to go see the new Maleficent movie, and it reminded me of the tree men and in that actually after I came home and saw this waiting for me. You can see there with those branches, it definitely gives him a good sense of scale. He is, you almost have enough stuff, I think, in here to have a beast man versus nature army skirmish scenario. Especially if you let the bears be included with the druid stuff. But wait, there's more. What else do we have here? Well, I couldn't resist and I wanted to grab because during the Kickstarter campaign, they had access to a lot of their character models and things like that so i managed to grab a couple more sets as we just smash everything off to the side and i got some of their orc heroes which i thought were kind of fun 
They hid this crazy goblin with a huge top knot. And I guess this is supposed to be a mage of some sort. This is kind of fun. We know for like a couple bucks, literally a couple bucks, and you get yourself, you know, a variety of interesting figures in metal, if metal doesn't bother you. A little bit soft metal. There is a lot of bending and rebending that needs to be done here still. So I think he is, no, he's definitely a goblin. He's kind of hunched over and wearing a helmet there. He's pretty heavily armored. A lot of detail squeezed in there. This guy's like a taskmaster. I'm not sure what this dude is. Reminds me of like a savage one. He might be wearing a animal skin on his head. I can't tell. It's got a very primitive looking club in his hand. And to go with them, or to fight with them, it's always hard to say which. We got a set of rat heroes as well. And part of the reason I wanted the rat heroes is because they have a really nice looking 15 millimeter rat ogre. And again, I'm thinking we're probably just going to be doing like Songs of Blades and Heroes in 15 millimeter quite soon because there's just so much. We have a rat shaman who sadly does not look like Vanquil, but not everybody can be. A rat assassin who... Do you have three blades? No, you only have two. Everybody knows a proper rat assassin is going to be carrying three blades and have one in his tail. And then we have a more warlord style one in armor with a big honking axe that almost is as big as him. So these guys are pretty cool. And again, just the sheer variety of models. Now, these guys obviously I paid a couple bucks extra for. And we're still not done. There's a couple more. Next up after them, we grab some dark elf heroes. Which is weird because I don't really like dark elves usually. Something about these I really liked. You can't really see his face of the assassin here. He's kind of hunched over with his knives ready. We have a typical haughty elven mage type. We have the traditional reaver who I like that they have this kind of like face guard that covers up their mouth and stuff repeating crossbow pistol and then this is the one i really liked i'm thinking it's a female but she's got one of these big curvy executioner style blades and a huge billowy cloak for quite the dramatic hero and finally the last set that we're going to show off today because i'm taking forever to get all this out on camera to show you guys is their dark elf Witch champion. So in typical Dark Elf fashion, she's barely dressed. She's not the reason I wanted her. The reason I wanted her is because she's got this big honking lizard man monstrosity with a blade that's taller than any of them. If you guys know me, I love me my lizards. This is quite a nice looking model. And I think he'd go quite well toe to toe with our minotaur friend here and if i can find the bits and pieces of the tree man which is just kind of ended up in a pile the bear wants in on that action the rat ogre another werewolf so you can see just in terms of variety of poses of designs there's a lot going on and I absolutely really enjoy Splinter and Light's stuff. They just continue to put out cool looking models. And I believe the next set of figures they're going to be doing is back with their Egyptian line. And it was going to be the Sons of Set and a bunch of mercenaries to hang around with them. And I got to say, scale wise, I've got one of my Battle Valor Toshiro Mifune Seven Samurai models. And I mean, he looks he looks right at in place with most of these models here. Obviously, with the more human ones, if I base them on pennies of similar size, he looks like he's gonna be right about the same. Head looks a little bit bigger with the Battle of Valor. They're always kind of 
I'd say a bit on the bigger side, but considering these are all not even humans to begin with, they can be all kinds of weedy shapes and sizes. And I mean, it's not like here's a rat next to him and, you know, it's still pretty good size. It's going to fit in well. Smaller rat, obviously more hunched over, but yeah, you get the idea. So definitely check out Splinter Light's website and keep an eye out if you're interested in their Kickstarters because they always have a special on the first day for first day backers. On the last one, it was a some kind of monster, but like I said, this one, you got this big, crazy tree man and their initial funding always goes so high so quickly that they end up adding in a bunch of models. So if you want a variety of 15 millimeter models for a lot of bang for your buck, keep your eyes peeled because I'm sure I'll be out there reminding people about it as well. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures, and thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.